Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we're gonna do a quick little DIY. Ooh, I'm throwing things here. With mostly Dollar Tree stuff. Now, obviously it's not all Dollar Tree, but it can be made with all Dollar Tree items. So I'm gonna go over with you what you'll need to do exactly what I'm doing. I got some of the spiders from the Dollar Tree. And I also picked up some of this purple twig garland, again, from the Dollar Tree. This bow I purchased pre-made. I think I got it on clearance somewhere. It was like $1.99. I thought when I saw it, this is perfect for Halloween. So I kept it. But they do sell ribbon, obviously, at the Dollar Tree. This sign I got last year, but I saw them back again this year. I just took it apart. It just glued on there with some little staples but I took that apart and I got some wire use anything you want um, I do have some wire nips scissors craft scissors not sewing scissors I have a hammer I don't know why I probably don't need that <laughs> and then I have my hot glue gun which you can use hot glue regular glue whatever my ribbon or bow it was already twist tied so I don't need to worry about that and then I bought this spider web at Michael's, but they do have, uh, looks like a bicycle wheel at Dollar Tree, which you could use. So I'm gonna take the twig garland and I'm gonna wire it to the outer rim. So I'm just gonna take um, some of this wire. Oops. And I'm just going to cut a few pieces. So I have some small pieces to connect it to the outside here. Um, it would probably be better if I had some black wire, but I don't. So we're not going to worry. I'm also going to pick a spot to start. And eventually this will be the top of my wreath. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. But I'm just wiring it on. Now I could probably hot glue it, but I just feel like that would be like oops a lot of glue that I don't want to deal with so I'm just gonna let me turn this around so you can see it a little better I'm just wrapping this wire around right and then twisting it so you don't need a very big piece and if you are like me and I have a painted front door I'm gonna push this wire kind of more towards the front. And I'm gonna work this all the way around and I will be right back. Okay, sorry for the siren. So what I did is I wired it all in and then I went around and I just kind of wove these pieces cause they're long. So I did like over, under, under, over, around the edges to try to um, fill it in obviously, but you can also go around it more than one time. I didn't have enough. I'm just trying to fix this one here. I did not have enough to go around twice with my size wreath form, but if you use the Dollar Tree, the one that looks like a bicycle wheel, and you bought two of these garlands, you would have enough to go around twice for sure. All right, so I think that's it. It's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, it is supposed to mimic like twigs and stuff. But we're gonna call this good. And you can always just take a little hot glue to it and attach. Now, the next thing I wanna do is put this bow on. I'm gonna pick a top, it doesn't matter. But the one thing I want is this to go around. So I'm going to take some hot glue on the back and just tack that ribbon right here. I'm gonna put some more hot glue in here. But I want this to go around the top. Sorry, I had to put some more hot glue around the top and not, um, straight down in front of it because I want to see the caps, right? So I'm putting a glob of it because I really want it to hold. 
on the back side. See how it's gonna go that way now? And that just ensures for me that that's where it's happening. And then I'm flipping it over and I'm twist tying it. That's it. You can glue it if you want, not necessary, depending on your front porch, of course. So if your front porch is not covered, mine is, um, then you'll probably want to add those little plastic things come in here, but I don't need it. You'll want to add some more glue to it. Eventually, I will probably tack this, those ribbons out here, but we'll see what it looks like. So from here, you can really go anywhere you want with this. I want this cat because I'm a little obsessed with cats, as you know. Also, I just think that looks fantastic. So we are going to put a little hot glue. Got to be careful though, because it's open. And again, my front porch is covered. So we're gonna glue him so I can see. Right, I want him kind of centered. And then I, oop, I guess I cannot. gonna flip them over like this but I don't know if that's gonna work well all right other thing we can do oh by the way be careful with this floral wire I just jabbed my finger with it okay I'm gonna take some floral wire I also saw on Instagram that folks found jewelry making tools at the Dollar Tree. Now this is pretty thin floor wire, so I'm doubling it. What I did is I jabbed myself on that end, so we will not do that again. But I'm gonna go up through here, since I really can't glue it. So we're gonna turn them over. Actually, I think what I wanna do is almost like you would if you had some twine, which 100% you can use ribbon for this or twine. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Put my hand where I want the wire. And I want the wire up here. And it needs to be on a cross or it'll just slide down, right? And then I can say, okay, well, the center for this cat is about here. So I'm just going to twist it down like that. And then do a really good twist with this wire, just trying to bunch it up. I don't want it scratching my front door. So I'm gonna lift him up and lay him down. And now he's gonna hang right here. So I got him where I want, where I want him to be hung. We're gonna hide that too. I was going to put the welcome sign down here, but I'm not sure. I kind of like it, but we'll see. What I do like are these. And what I love is, I'm just tearing them off the dealies. They're on clips, right? I don't even have to glue these. I can just clip them right onto the wreath. How freaking fun is that? Now, if I want to, I took that out. I'm going to clip. It's just plastic. Clip it off. Hot glue in here, and you want a fair amount. So I have a nice blob of glue here. And I'm going to cover that hole right on the top of the hat. I'm just holding it in place. And now that hole is going to to be covered with the spider. 
and the ribbon will kind of cover some of that spider. And then we can just put a couple more on. And that is it. Like, how easy is that? The other cool thing about these is they can you can turn your spiders and have them go in whatever direction you want. Do you think we should put the welcome sign down here? What do we all think? You can't really even see it here. I don't think I need it. I don't think so. I think we're going to leave it like this. Look at all this glitter. Let me tell you, that garland is a glitter bomb. Um, I do, however, want to put a little bit of glue right here just to hold that so it doesn't go down and um, cover the cat's face. And that is it, guys. Isn't that a fun and spooky wreath? You can make your own bows. You can buy them pre-made pretty much anywhere. This wreath form, if you did this from the Dollar Tree, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten bucks to make this wreath. So easy and so exciting, and I can't wait to show it on my door. But first, we have one more project to do. Okay, here is project number two, and don't forget coffee in my Hocus Pocus cup. Mm, mm, mm. I hope you stay in frame. I'm not, I can't see the front of the camera. I do have my glue gun sitting off to the side here. I took just the orange, these were the plain solid orange stacking pumpkins. I took a sign and I glued it on the bottom. I used some hot glue and then on the inside I used some E6000, like on the bottom and inside and then put it down and hot glued around it. Spray painted multiple coats. I don't know how well it's gonna stick, the spray paint. But we're going to pretend like it's sticking good. And then I'm just going to snap these together to make our one tall pumpkin. Now, the reason I put a base on it is when I go to put this outside, I'm going to put something heavy inside. Because it's, well, I don't know, the, this wooden base really did give it some weight. I don't want it blowing away, but I think it'll be okay. But if I start having issues, I can open this up and just throw something heavy, some rocks or something in the bottom just to keep it from going. I got, oh my gosh, look at that spider. I got this huge purple glitter spider. I have two orange purple spiders. I grabbed this at Michael's. It'll go somewhere. Who knows? And then I brought out these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I also have this welcome sign from my other that may work out. I don't know. We'll see. We're doing this as we go. But first and foremost, I want to attempt to do something here at the top. And I didn't want to do another bow. So I'm kind of thinking I like this purple. Now these come on the clips as well, but obviously I'm, there's nothing for me to clip it to. So I pull the clip off, cut the back. Now there's a couple things I could do here. I could glue this to a ribbon and tie the ribbon around it, but I feel like I'm just gonna hot glue that onto the top instead of a bow, right? And then I'm putting a fair amount, and I mean like a lot of hot glue. And I'm just gonna sit up here and attach it for a second. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Well, not with my big fat hand in the way. Let me adjust you just a little bit. There you go. So I just attached that, right? Just got our purple. Oh, I love it. Our purple flower, it's kind of gothic. I'm gonna go with that. And this again is another super easy project. I am looking behind me for my metal snips because I wanna cut this off of the cat. I feel like he needs to go in the center here and somewhere down there. What do you think? I, I think so. 
So again, I'm just pulling this off. It's metal and I'm cutting it. So I can have a flat surface there. Maybe this will work a little better just to get a little closer. Okay. And then I cut it too close and so now it's gonna fall apart. Just putting some hot glue and I'll put this back on it. There we go. We'll hold that for a second. If you do what I just did and cut it too close, it will fall apart on you. So I'm just kind of gluing that stem back in there. But before I attach, well, before I attach it wherever I think it's gonna go, which is most likely gonna be right here, what do we think? Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'm really digging the black. And so that's the top front. Oh, the fun thing is, as long as I attach this just to the bottom, these all move, right? I'm not attaching it in the crease. I'm attaching it really to the bottom pumpkin. And I'm giving it a good push and hold just to get it to attach. But I can still move these freely and take them apart for storage. Um, let's see here, you're not, he's not doing too good back here. I'm just gonna come back with a little more glue. This is the thing when you're dealing with plastics, spray paint and hot glue and stuff, sometimes it doesn't really stick as good. And I know that I'm completely smushing this flower, but I'm okay with that because we'll let that dry and then I do I broke up Ugh. okay well we're gonna be fixing this flower because apparently I mushed him too hard so the thing is it's just layers of silky flower so here's how you fix it hot glue guys is our friend. Give me a couple in here. And then just hot gluing some more, but I want that, those legs up. I want him in there. So I over pushed on it and I broke the center is what I did, but it's okay. Because again, I'm putting something in the middle and there is enough hot glue to go around in this world. Do I want, no, nope. I want to. So right now we're just gonna put him together, this back together. I'm just layering it on this side now. There we go. And then there we go. Okay, that's better. And then the last piece is, after I get all these glue strings off me, this piece with the plastic, I broke the plastic is what I did. Holding it too tight. More hot glue into the center. And we're gonna let that dry for a second. Okay, back to what we were doing a minute ago, which is taking out some spideys. I know some people don't think that sparkly glitter is Halloween, but I don't really enjoy a spooky Halloween, like gory. I enjoy kind of more fun Halloween like this. Okay. We definitely need a spider. What do you think down here? Yeah, this is gonna be a little challenging because of the sides. So I'm going to, and then a little back here, and we're gonna just hold them here. Don't push too, too hard because it's not a very sturdy pumpkin. 
and the hot glue is tending to melt it a little bit. It's not like breaking it, but it is giving it a little wah -wah. I may not even use this big one. I'm not sure. But I do want to put our cat right here. That's why I wasn't too concerned with the um, the flower because this is just gonna cover most of it. And I'm just hot gluing and kind of putting him, her, him, right in the center. And then we're gonna pick off all these little hot glue stringies, which kind of look like cobwebs. Let's take a look together. What do we think? Oh, I like that a lot. So I want one more orange spider coming on that one side maybe. Or do I want this black flower? Don't cut it overly short. Or do I want that flower like, I don't think so. Oh, that does look kind of fun. Putting the black flower next to it. No, another orange spider, I think. Maybe up here. I think that's good right there, coming down. They're coming for the kitty cats. Just hot glue in it. I'm going to stick that one right there. And I think I'll put the other one up top. Like up here. Maybe turn that sideways and put this up here and then I would have the two flowers or I could, no. Let's look together. I think this might be enough. Oh guys, I love it. I could put welcome somewhere on here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna leave it. But you get the idea. You just kind of glue things onto it as you see fit. I don't know about this big spider. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, that's a, she's a big girl. Oh, I might just put it like on the ground on my porch, like next to it, I think. Because my porch definitely can hold. Here, let me move this back. I have a big porch. I could totally put that next to it or like on the wall behind it, coming down towards it. Because I just feel like that's a little much. But I do have, oh, these look so good together. I do have those left on my front porch. But I think I'm going to leave my pumpkins as is. So how easy was that? A can of spray paint, hot glue, and some Dollar Tree items, and we have a spooky-ish front door design. All right, I hope you enjoyed these two little DIYs, and I will be back with my front porch reveal. Okay, let me see if I can get this in for you. This is my front porch, black cat and all. All right, we are ready for Halloween. I'm going to bring out a little more stuff, but for right now, yep, we have a black cat. He lives here. There's the pumpkins. I will let you in. There's the pumpkins I made. I need something hanging from that corner, I feel like. The beware sign. I have a spider. I'm kind of obsessed with that. The wreath that I made and then the creepy cloth as spider web and a cute cat hey oh hey he's deaf i'm not sure why i'm calling him but sometimes he looks hey you say hi 
You say hi? Oh, yeah. You say, okay. All right, guys, that is my front porch. I hope you enjoyed my Halloween DIYs.